Let's get this party started. Hello. Do you want to play a game? Okay guys, so with the release of the new Snoop Dogg Operator coming on April 19th, I thought today I'd go back and take a look at all of the limited time skins we have seen across Warzone. So that's along with Modern Warfare, Cold War and Vanguard. So yeah, I'm just gonna jump straight into things. Make sure you drop a like if you go on to enjoy the video and uh, consider subscribing with those notifications on if you want to see more videos like this and more showcases. And of course, comment down below which ones of these is your favourite. So yeah, starting things off, we did have the Haunting of Verdansk as an event in Modern Warfare and Warzone, which did actually come along with probably three of the most favoured bundles and skins across Warzone, that being the Saw Bundle, Dr. Karlov Lives, and also the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And for the Saw Bundle, we did get the Billy Operator skin, however it wasn't like a standalone character like some of the other ones, it was just a skin for Morte. But yeah, for me this is definitely up there as one of the best skins across all of Warzone from Modern Warfare, Vanguard and Cold War. I don't believe since these Halloween bundles were released, they ever came back into the store again. I don't remember seeing them mentioned again but if anyone does know let me know down below. Along with this skin we did get the confession assault rifle for the AMAX, the death truck shotgun and also the melee weapon and those did come with the blood red tracers and also dismemberment. Moving on, we do have the Dr. Karlov Lives bundle, of course with that Dr. Karlov skin which is actually one for Bale. So once again, not a unique standalone skin as its own like operator with their own voice lines or anything like that, but it is up there still with one of the better skins we have seen and one of the more exclusive ones. He's not from like a movie or anything, more of a like myth or legend within the uh, Gulag I think on the Vedansk map. The few weapons in this one do have the electrical tracer fire included. With that sort of cool death effect thing, this is the first time we saw that. And by the way, if you're looking for like in-depth showcases on everything included in these bundles, just search them on my channel because I have done separate videos on all of them. Then for the final bundle and skin of the three, we do have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And this one came along with the skin crawler sort of leather face skin for Velikin. And yeah, of course, this is obviously from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, which honestly, I've never seen myself. So let me know if you've seen that one. I think they've actually remade it or made another version of it this year, or if it's coming out later this year. But yeah, again, one of the exclusive ones as the Halloween event. And this bundle also included the family heirloom and the buzz kill for the chainsaw on the MP5. And they had the orange traces and dismemberment. down below which one of these three you think is the best and if you actually picked them up yourselves during the event. Then moving over to Cold War we did have the 80s action hero event which included bundles for John Rambo and John McClane. Starting off then with the Rambo Operator limited time bundle. Now what's different about this one and the John McClane one from the actual Modern Warfare ones is they actually are their own unique operator. It's not like a skin for a different one it's literally just their own operator. And they do sort of have their own voice lines in the game. It's not like stuff that's fitted in with the actual game it's more so um voice lines just taken from their movies i'm coming to get you go fuck yourself obviously sylvester stallone a very well-known actor across a lot of movies and this one is just specifically for rambo but i'm sure a lot of people just liked him anyway uh, just to get him as an operator but yeah it was a really cool thing to come out at the time we did have like the rambo classic lmg in here and the knife and everything which had the red tracers and then shatter blast dismemberment so yeah did you manage to pick that one up it was limited time but then it came out again but i think it's gone completely now so i don't know if we'll see it again now for the die hard john mcclain operator bundle i won't lie this is the only 
only limited time one that I never actually managed to pick up. I can't remember why, I guess I just missed it. However, I did actually manage to make a John Rambo versus John McClane video, so if you want to check that out at any point you can. And of course, just like Rambo, he was his own actual operator with his own movie voice lines. Okay, and his weapons included did have orange tracer fire and again that shatter blast dismemberment effect. Sticking with Cold War, we then had the tracer pack Judge Dread limited time bundle. Of course, again, a character from a movie, but this one is not its own unique skin like Rambo and John McClane, it's actually a skin for Beck. And this one actually did have two separate skins, you had the regular Judge Dread and then also the comic strip version. So yeah, no unique character voice lines with them. And again, I won't lie, I've never heard or I never heard of Judge Dread before these skins came out. I don't know, I guess it wasn't... I don't know, have you seen the films for that? For the blueprints included, we did have some more lightning, the yellow lightning tracers and the yellow dismemberment with that as well. <laughs> Then about a year later from the Modern Warfare Haunting of Verdansk, we then had the Haunting Scream version for Cold War, which did come along with the Ghost Faced and also the Donnie Darko bundle. Now for me, I do think the Scream Operator bundle with the Ghost Faced skin is my favourite overall out of Modern Warfare, Cold War and Van Gunner, just the best bundle we have seen. Ghost Faced being his actual own operator as well, and actually having the in-game voice lines which actually like go along with the actual game, they're not just like movie recordings like we saw before. Today. Wanna play a game? You run, and I'll use this to kill you. It's better in real life than it does in the movie. I don't care how many times you've died, this one's your last. The only real kind of disappointing thing is the tracers and this dismemberment weren't really that unique for the operator. They were just like some standard red white tracers with a normal dismemberment effect. Yeah, overall we're just looking at the skin and the voice lines and everything is a great bundle. Then moving over and taking a look at our tracer back Donnie Darko, the other limited time bundle that came with that event. With the Frank the Rabbit skin and again from the Donnie Darko movie. But unfortunately this time it wasn't its standalone operator, it was just a skin for Baker. And obviously it doesn't really have voice lines either in the game because it's not really that sort of character anyway. But yeah, another one of those like psychedelic old school movies, so let me know if you've actually seen that one. It has that pretty famous like cinema scene in there. Once again, I'm not so sure we're ever going to see either of these buns again, that's why of course they are limited time. So were you able to pick them up? Uh, weapons included in this one had the purple electric trace fire and also the electric dismemberment. And then for the final skin I'm going to be taking a look at today, we switch over to Vanguard and this is the Attack on Titan Armored Titan Tracer Pack. Like I mentioned at the start, Snoop Dogg is coming on April 19th so I will be covering that on the channel so make sure you are around, subscribe with those notifications on to see that and I'm sure there will be more in the future limited time ones so I'll cover them as well. And if you're still watching this far into the video make sure you comment down below egg. And also if anyone plays Fortnite still and buys skins on there. I have, I have a creator code for that now, so just use code Gibbles in the store on there. Hopefully one day I'll get a COD one. But yeah, having a look then, we do have the Armored Titan skin, which is actually for Roland, so again, not a standalone. And I'm sure this one pleased a lot of anime fans. They do do a lot of anime bundles, but not really a like skin like this before. Um, there is the other Attack on Titan bundle, but it's not really a limited time skin. It's more so just like a poorly done one, to be honest. Says me, who doesn't actually ever watch anime or anything like that, but yeah. I think there is rumoured to be more Attack on Titan bundles as well, coming with their like collab on Warzone and COD. And I'm sure there will be more limited time bundles across, across Vanguard anyway. So yeah, anime fans, let me know what did you think of this one and the skin. The bundle did also include a Mastercraft weapon. And then we had like the red anime tracers and then the next slash dismemberment with it. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video today. Taking a look at all the limited time or exclusive skins we have seen across Warzone in Modern Warfare Vanguard and Cold War. So yeah, make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, let me know which ones is your favourite down below. Uh, subscribe for notifications on so you don't miss future videos. And I'll see you on the next one.